Hi all, so today I am trying some moss or garden nails, I'm not quite sure what you want to call them. I saw them on a video by Long Hair Pretty Nails. Um, just in case they turned out a disaster, what I've done today is use the sticky glue tabs and the full extra long nails that I think I got in a T. I'm not sure whether it was a Timu or a Sheen haul. Um, but yeah, they've got quite a decent Apex and C curve on. Now, I've sped this video quite a bit because it was fairly long. But yeah, I do... I trim these down because I can barely manage with what most people call short nails, never mind the super long ones like those. And as it is, I struggle to work them. Um, I have put one on my thumb and I do end up popping that off. Um, those are the bits I'm going to be using. And the bright green, I think it's Rocket Man by CJP. Now, for this, I'm just using a new dish gel polish because, again, it's, it was just an experiment. Um, I have some really nice nude car acrylics from CJP, which I would use if I was going to do with acrylic. Or I would find a nice nude builder. But this was, this was just an experiment to see if I could... Because I absolutely love watching long hair pretty nails videos. And I wouldn't mind trying to recreate some. Now there, I just flash cured those two because I didn't trust myself not to bop them. Because I have quite crooked fingers, that's why I'm holding that pinky there. Because it doesn't, it doesn't sit straight. The Macart rhinestone glue is part of a glue kit. Um, that's what I'll be using to stick the moss on, but not the brush and the tube, I not the brush and the pot I showed you, just the tube. Um, I'm just second coating that because I'd left them quite messy. And just because it's an experiment, it doesn't mean I can leave them all messy. And that is my little doggy who has just woken up from his nap and he's feeling kind of whiny <sighs> right i'm just i do believe i'm giving them a full cure Shh. that is the rocket man by cjp Push that I'm going to use to to do the French because oh, my plan is to use the the green French as a base I do I, that was me showing you the Bowen French brush I got in a Timu haul but I end up using my favourite long liner okay and this is me doing the French. I'm not honestly brilliant at French. Oh. But these actually didn't turn out too badly. Okay, that one I painted too short. But look at me go, like painting French is no big deal when normally I seriously struggle to get it even. But that actually isn't half bad. I don't know whether it's because I'm painting on myself or what. I do like that green though. And that's a Rocket Man. I'm calling it Rocket Man. Let's hope it's Rocket Man by CJP. Now, I'm only doing one coat of this rather than the two and it's a very thin coat at that because it's just for to go underneath the moss just so there's some extra colour there I 
and this is my first time doing a voiceover so if you can't hear it properly or it's a disaster I apologise in advance and that's even if it works out Okay, so that's them cured and I'm going to top cut. I did plan to cut bits like this out to save time on the video but I've just realised that I've started doing the voiceover before cutting bits out so I will not be cutting bits out because I'm going to be leaving myself mid-sentence or mid-word because I'm assuming it cuts the voice with the parts. It's a good top coat that one i like that when i'm doing jet for that one when i'm doing gel polish it's thin but if i've got a like a raised design my favorite one is the time to shine by cgp because it's quite thick i really do like that one and my little bling buddy As you can see, it's a fairly hefty bag of moss. Um, I decided to follow the way long hair pretty nails had done it and trim bits off beforehand. But I do, I do go back in with the scissors and actually scrunch it into even smaller bits. And I do wonder if that stuff dries out because it's it's really soft and spongy. I don't know whether. I don't know how I expected it to feel, but yeah. I'm getting my little bits out. I need to move those little flowers into a different container because they're a pain in the ass to get out of there. Uh, and that's my other one. That The flower shaped one has different shades of colours of flowers in and it's got a few butterflies thrown in with them as well. Now here I'm just random dotting the macart glue because I'm putting the flowers on first, which again is, is is the way long hair pretty nails did it. And that just made more sense. Halfway through I did wonder whether I should have put the moss on first, but then I realised the flowers wouldn't really stick. So flowers it is and the moss around it. I do try to be good to begin with when I start putting the moss on by using the tweezers, but then I end up getting annoyed and just patting it on with my fingers which I do not recommend especially when you're not wearing gloves but I'm doing a nice little mix of flowers there they're all just random in different colours and different shades just to I do like that little yellow daffodil there just to see what works as a proper set I would probably take more care but I just wanted to see if I could. So not the brilliantest care has been taken. And they are all popped off now of the nails. I didn't even last five minutes with them on that length before I hit myself. I see all these nail techs, these beautiful nails and beautiful long nails at that. And I just wonder how in the hell they manage even with a short set, I can barely manage to, to put tips on my clients. I'm a, I'm a nail tech that doesn't really wear nails that often, to be honest. I thoroughly enjoy doing them, though. And I didn't put it on the full nail in one go, that McCart glue. I just, I put it in patches because I think my plan is to flash cure bits in between so they don't go anywhere. Yeah, by flash cure. Just so it doesn't spring back and do a runner. I'd love to know who came up with these first because they really are a very interesting set of nails.
Yeah, and this is when I degenerated and just decided beggar this and patted that stuff right on. And you can see just in the bottom corner me in the in the bowl trimming away at it to make it smaller. And I'm just packing it on for these two. It's one of those I didn't think it'd take that long. But in actual fact, I think the video is like 40 or 50 minutes before I sped it up. And that's just doing four fingers. But I'm glad I had a go and did them so for any of you that have managed to make it to the the end of my little video thank you very much for watching oh and that's some tamagotchi nails i did inspired by shuni nail i do believe but yes thank you very much for watching and making it to the end and please like and subscribe and help my channel grow Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Bye.